name is Matthew Averm. I'm the director of the Massachusetts General Hospital Dermatology Laser and Cosmetic Center. Fractor is a device that uses bipolar fractional radio frequency to improve the skin. Fractional treatments, as we've learned over the last decade, is a way of doing pinpoint injuries to the skin or heating of the skin in certain areas that can produce rapid healing and safe treatments that can penetrate more deeply into the skin. And that's exactly what Fractor does. It has a needle array in its handpiece that pokes to different depths into the skin. It can be superficial, mid-depth, or deeper depth. And by doing that, it creates zones of thermal heating that um, over a period of time heal with the surrounding normal skin that uh, causes collagen to increase and causes a clinical benefit to the patient in a safe and effective manner. It's for those patients who want to look refreshed without going to a more extreme surgical procedure. And I think that's what most patients want these days is they don't want to look like a different person, but they want to look like they're less tired, like they're more refreshed, and that they just look better at the age that they are now than they would be otherwise. And those are the patients that tend to do the best with the procedure um, in my experience. What has impressed me over time is that you don't necessarily need to push the device to its limits to really get um, a, a nice result and a satisfied patient. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna treat at two different depths on, on our patient today. I'm gonna treat with the 60 pin, and I'm gonna treat with the 24 pin, which is deeper at about three millimeters. So that wouldn't be what I'd consider by any means a very aggressive treatment. I would say it's a conservative treatment, but what's nice about that is the pain isn't quite as bad, the patient still sees the results, and um, it's just a less eventful treatment for the patient and for the physician for that matter. So we're here with Beverly. Beverly is 64 years old. She looks great. She really doesn't have uh, too much damage in terms of aging, but she felt like, you know, the upper portion of her neck and the lower part of her jawline, lower part of her face had a little bit of laxity. She has some lines around her um, mouth as well and her uh, chin and jaw area. And um, she wanted to improve her texture and tone. She's had topical anesthesia on for the last hour. That is a must for this procedure. And our anesthesia ranges from 7% lidocaine tetracaine, and we uh, also use 23% uh, percent lidocaine, 7% uh, tetracaine as well. And by putting this on the skin for at least an hour before the treatment, you're gonna have a patient who's gonna be far more comfortable. I'm gonna start taking this off now as it has been over an hour. Another, there's some other things that can really help uh, patient comfort as you do this procedure. Another thing that you can do, which is very effective and will work more quickly, is um, nerve blocks. If you could just turn towards me a little bit. By using um, infraorbital and mental uh, nerve blocks, you can create a nice area of anesthesia for the patient so that they have more comfort. Another thing you can do during the treatment to help with comfort is to use a uh, cooling system, such as a Zimmer cooling system, to provide even more comfort to the patient. So you wanna get all of the anesthesia off because when you're treating the patient, you don't wanna be treating through anesthesia. So one thing to keep in mind is your patients are gonna feel very numb as you're wiping this off, which may be a little bit strange for them. And a lot of patients get a uh, redness uh, of their skin that uh, Beverly's showing a little bit of today, but some patients get a real um, irritant uh, dermatitis where they get some redness and some swelling. But when you see it, make sure that, that you understand that that's what it is and there's nothing else going on. So I'm about to begin the treatment and one of the key things uh, of having a successful treatment is a strategy for meeting the patient's expectations. And the way to do that is to um, think about the settings that you're gonna do. And the settings that I'm gonna use today entail doing two different levels of depth. The first level of depth is the 24 pin, and that is the deeper pin. That's gonna penetrate more deeply in the skin. Um, when you do a treatment, you do the uh, deeper pin first for your first uh, treatment, and then if you're gonna go more superficially, you do that treatment second. Now I'm gonna use a single pulse that is a relatively conservative treatment for this uh, device. In my experience, I've had uh, patients be very happy with this treatment, 
and uh, relatively few complications. So it's a treatment I like a lot, and I think it's one that Beverly is gonna like as well. One of the things that's interesting is because this is bipolar radio frequency, we do not wear goggles. So there's no need for goggles when we're doing a treatment such as this. We're gonna be treating her from her uh, mid neck to uh, about the level of her eyes. And what's important is you wanna have the screw on the side of the device in the direction that you're gonna be treating. And what you do is you stretch the skin, push firmly on the area, and then I'm gonna pulse it. And that's it. You can see she has a little bit of twitch and a little bit of bleeding um, from that pulse, both of which are completely normal. And then what you do is a 50% overlap with each subsequent pulse. So again, you can see that little bit of a twitch and we have that 50% overlap with each pulse. And again, these are single pulse treatments. And again, this is the 24 hand piece, single pulse. And I think one thing, we are trying to help with some uh, wrinkles in her cheeks, but the other reason to treat the cheeks is if you're gonna address the jawline or if you're gonna address the jowls, you're gonna wanna get some lift above that area. So by treating the cheeks and by giving some, some of the uh, treatment here, you're gonna help with uh, some tightening as well. When you treat the upper part of the neck, the technique's gonna be a little bit different. Um, it's the same settings, but rather than stretching the skin and pushing down as you do on the cheeks and on the face, what you do is you bring the tissue to the side and turn it up against, against the uh, handpiece and you fire in this fashion. We just go down the rows and continue to do the same thing. Following in the direction of the screw on the side of the handpiece, um, and that's the proper technique for doing this. As we get towards the midline, I'm gonna switch to the other side for bunching the tissue to do the treatment appropriately. just really important to kind of get that tissue to fold up and get complete contact with it as you move. I'm now going to switch um, tips from the 24 tip to the more superficial uh, 60 tip. These um, 60 pins are not quite as long as the 24 pin tip. Those are longer and therefore penetrate more deeply into the, the skin. With the 60 pin tip, you have less deeply penetrating pins um, here in this array. And basically you just screw it on and uh, you start the treatment after you get that locked in. So I'm gonna treat the um, with the 60 pin tip in the same fashion that I treated with the 24 uh, pin uh, tip. And I'm going to treat uh, laterally across the lower part of her cheek with firm pressure and uh, extending the skin laterally. Again, 50% overlap. Extending the tissue laterally, giving uh, firm pressure into the skin to deliver the needle array appropriately into the skin. And again, there, there are more aggressive ways of doing this treatment. You saw a little twitch again, which is very common. You can use higher energies, you can do uh, more pulses. Just make sure that that's appropriate for the patient that you're treating and that you keep track of you know, your, your settings and as you do the treatment to keep it as safe as possible. So what do we tell patients after treatment? Well, we have them use ice packs to cool off their skin. That's something that uh, we can do immediately after treatment. Um, we also have them use, um, for a case such as this, uh, light moisturizers after treatment. What you can see from the treatment is that it's really confined to the upper neck to uh, the cheeks. Those address the specific concerns that Beverly had. 
There is no reason that you can't perform this treatment on the forehead and lower down on the neck than we did today. If you're looking for a device that can produce improvement um, in texture, tone, wrinkles, uh, acne scars, and uh, tissue tightening that can do multiple, that can address multiple issues with one treatment, I think that this is an effective treatment. I think it's, um, in my experience, it's been a very safe treatment. There doesn't tend to be a lot of downtime with the treatment, and um, the patients that I've treated have been happy with it. So I th it's added to my practice, and I've been happy with it, as have my patients.